Hey there YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is Alex Hubbard. I'm a senior systems administrator with over 15 years of experience in the IT industry. Today we're gonna to talk about virtualizing a firewall with PFSense in VMware. I know that's a bit of a mouthful. Um, typically I'm not one to recommend virtualizing a firewall. Um, I guess what that means is virtualizing a firewall, you have no physical firewall. It's virtual in, uh, a hypervisor. Um, so I have a lab server, I have multiple network cards in it. Um, I have a couple of static IPs from my ISP and I'm going to show you how to set up your own lab environment or your own firewall for your lab environment uh, in VMware utilizing PFSense. So let's take a look at how our infrastructure here is physically connected. There's a couple of ways you can do this. If you have a cable ISP like I do, um, you have a modem and you have a single handoff from that modem. So if you have multiple WAN IPs, how do you get that into different firewalls and things? How do you split that up? That's where, uh, let's, let's take a look at our whiteboard here and let's take a look and see how I have it physically connected. There's a couple of ways you can do this. So let's say we have our modem here, right? Pardon my handwriting. And then this is the way I have it set up. So we have a managed switch. So in this case, we're using a, a HP switch. And we have a handoff feeding a port on that switch. That port is configured in a VLAN. And for this tutorial, we'll call it VLAN 5. Right. Then we have, I have a production network over here. We'll call it prod. It's my internal house network. And that is fed off of another port on that same VLAN 5. So this is my production firewall. It's a physical firewall that I have uh, for my house network. So how do we get this fed in to our ESXi VMware host, right? Well. Pretty simple, all we do is we take another port and assign it to this VLAN and connect it to an open NIC port on our, uh, on our ESXi, our, our physical host, our, our hypervisor. And we don't need a physical LAN port on this particular server. We have a virtual switch, which all of our hosts will connect to. This is purely just to get uh, internet traffic in and out of our lab network. So. Pretty, pretty straightforward, simple concept. Um, you can do this, like I said, a couple of ways. I'm using a managed switch. I have a VLAN created that only is set up for WAN traffic. You could put an unmanaged switch in this spot and do the same thing, but it adds to your infrastructure. So I already had this managed switch that I have other stuff on, so I just created a VLAN for it. Since it's my lab network, that's the way I'm doing it. So. All right, let's jump into our ESXi hypervisor here. I already have the ISO downloaded. If you need it, you can just go to pfsense.org and I believe it's pfsense.org. Maybe I lied. Yeah, it is pfsense.org, I just typed it wrong. So um, you can go here and you can, they should have a download button here. It's, uh, it's an open source program. You'll pick your mirror and uh, You'll uh, you'll download it, so you can probably click this "Get Started Now" and it'll tell you how to how to get it. So there is commercial support available. I don't have it because this is just a lab. No no need for it in this case. So let's close out of that. The very first thing that we need to do is we need to come down here to our networking section, and you can see I have lab LAN port group. We need to can. Uh, we need to set up a lab WAN port group, and we also need to set up a lab WAN switch. So let's get started with that. I already have everything physically connected uh, in this setup, so let's click the add virtual switch button here. And we will add a standard virtual switch. We are going to call this lab WAN switch. So when I look at it, I know it's the lab, it's the WAN switch, and SW is just stands for switch. Uh, we're gonna leave VMNIC zero as the uplink because that's the one that we're using for our WAN. Click okay. It's 
now going to create a lab WAN switch and we've got to go do the same thing for our port group here. So let's add a port group. Lab, we'll call it lab WAN underscore PG. We've got to select the right switch. So we'll select the lab WAN switch and click add. That's pretty much it to set it up for, set your VMware host up for uh, this particular project here. Uh, fairly, fairly straightforward, not, not hard at all. Just know which network port or which uh, NIC card in your host that you're using. Um, that's probably the trickiest part. Uh, let's go back to virtual machines here and create and register a VM. We're going to create a new virtual machine and click next. I'm going to call it lab dash FW01 or lab firewall 01. Uh, the guest OS family will be Linux. And since uh, PFSense is built off of free BSD, we are going to select, oh, maybe it's not, uh, maybe I've got to go on other. Yeah, there we go. So we'll do free BSD 12 or later version 64 bit. We're going to click next. I only have one data store, but if you had other data stores, this is where you would pick your data store. So we'll click next there. I give it two gigs of RAM and 20 gigs of drive space. That's way more than generous uh, for what this needs. Uh, you can already see it's got a network adapter assigned to it for our lab LAN port group. We're gonna add a second network adapter here and we're gonna set it to our, why well, it's not picking up our, all right, let's, we'll come back and add that after. Uh, while we're in here, let's click the host device. We'll do the data store ISO file. And I have an ISOs folder. We'll select PF Sense. It's the latest version. We'll click next. We're going to finish. And let me go back and see why I can't add ooh, that, uh, that port group here. So let's go to edit settings. add network adapter. There we go, lab WAN port group. Don't know why that didn't show up last time. We will click save and we'll power on our machine. Open up the console, let it boot. It's gonna do its, its own thing here. All right, it's just gonna tell you it's not for commercial use. Accept that. It uh, gives you three options here, install, rescue shell, or recover config.xml, brand new installation. So we're going to do install, click OK. Uh, I'm going to leave it as the default key map since I am in the United States and that is what the default key map is. So we can hit enter and select that. I use auto uh, guided disk setup. Go ahead and click OK. This will take a couple minutes here. It's going to copy files and what have you. It's going to reboot and then we're going to tell it which uh, port group to use for LAN and which port group to use for WAN once it reboots. This will take a couple of minutes here and then it'll start its own little self wizard. Once we are done assigning which port goes where, we'll give it a LAN IP and we'll jump over to one of our Windows 10 VMs and check it out. Okay, now that we have PFSense installed, let me make this bigger here for you guys to see. We are going to run through the initial config and the first question is should VLANs be set up now? We're going to set, hit no or N for no. And we are going to set our WAN interface as VMX1. And we're going to set our LAN interface as VMX0. Do you want to proceed? Yes. Hit enter. It's going to configure the um, it's going to configure up the interfaces. Once we have done this, uh, we will give it a static LAN IP of 10.10.30.1. Uh, so that'll be our firewall address on our LAN network. We will then jump over to one of our Windows 10 VMs and see if we can ping it, get into the web interface and run through the GUI wizard. Okay, let's go and select option two here to set interface IP addresses. And drag this back over here so you guys can see it better. Two. All right, we're gonna set the LAN address. So 
interface 2. It's going to be 10.10.30.1. It will be a class uh, 24 cider. Enter. No upstream gateway since it's a LAN address. No IPv6 at this moment, so enter. And we do not want to uh, enable DHCP uh, because our domain controllers will be doing that. So click no. Do you want to revert to HTTP as the web configurator protocol? We're going to select no. So we'll be using HTTPS. So hit enter. It's going to reload. Um, this is our web address here, HTTPS 10.10.30.1. OK. Let's close this and open up one of our Windows 10 VMs here. Let's take a look at this one. Give it a sec to log in. The first thing we're going to check here is we're going to open up a command prompt. So you go to run, type in CMD. And we are going to type in ping 10.10.30.1. And it should reply with four replies. And it does. Let's minimize this. Let's go over to our Microsoft Edge browser here. Stop that default page because it's not going to load anyway. And just open up another tab. We'll do HTTPS. Oops. 10.10.30.1. Come on. I don't typically use Edge, but I haven't set this up yet, so there we go. All right, it's going to tell you it's not secure. That's fine. You can go to details, go to go on to the web page, and we get our login screen. The default username is admin. Default password is PF sense, all lowercase, and you can hit sign in. And this is going to take us to our web GUI, uh, which is just, it's very wizard like. Let's see if we can see that there. I will have to adjust my OBS settings to make this a little better, a little bit better for the next video. Um, so go ahead, it's going to welcome us to the setup. We can click next offering support and click next. We're not using support in this case. A uh, couple of things. All right. So host name, we're going to give it lab firewall or FW01. Domain is going to be lab.lan. And the DNS servers, we're going to point to our domain controllers. So 10.10.30.10 and 10.10. Dot 30 dot 20. And we can go ahead and click next. You can select your time server information. We'll leave that default for me for the moment. The WAN interface, we are going to change that to static. And this is where you would put in your static IP address and the gateway and the subnet mask. I'm going to do this off of camera just because I don't want to give out my WAN IP. So hang tight here for a second. Now we have our WAN IP uh, put in. We're going to leave our LAN IP address. That's fine. Go ahead and click next. We'll change our admin password. Click next. It will reload. And once it reloads, it tells you it's now configured. And we can finish. And we should be good to go. Now, if we minimize this guy here and come back over to our command prompt, let's see if we can ping out to Google's DNS server, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 and we can. So that's telling us that the virtual firewall is functioning. Um, let's see if we can ping our website, achubbard.com. That's telling me DNS is functioning. And let's see if we can pull up a, another page here. Yep, accept that. That's fine. Let's see if we can go to like 
Let's see if we can pull up. There we go. There's, there's our website. So this is how you uh, install PFSense on VMware. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment if there's something specific you want to see. Um, and uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more uh, IT-related videos.